most insurers are happy for you to phone up and query your policy. But we would possibly be a bit more inclined to say yes to the unusual. Oh, Eurovision CDs. Oh, yeah, yes. the gem with the, yeah, the, commemorative, yeah. <laughs> the commemorative C C D for every year of Eurovision. And he had them stolen. And they really wanted them replaced. And we had to find replacements for them. <laughs> the actual monetary value, not surprised to learn, is not very high. There's not a big market for Eurovision Song Contest CDs. It was just a difficulty in finding replacements for them. And that, I think, is also for the advisors, makes the job more interesting because we do take the time to do that and have more time. So instead of just processing somebody and going, no, check, you can go off and be an investigator <laughs> and go look for them and have that satisfaction of finding them. We do have a lot of people who lose things. And this is where it comes down to trust. Now, people who lose things in their home, I think it's a little bit far-fetched to say you've lost your television, but to, lo to lose jewellery. And teeth. And teeth. And hearing aids. Uh, pardon? <laughs> People do tend to know when they've lost their teeth. And it's yeah. quite often it's in one place in the bathroom. When does an item become lost? It's when it's been misplaced for a period of time. I can't be more definite than that, but we'll try and help as far as we can. Mm.